गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बायो मैकेनिक्स बायो मैकेनिक्स इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम टू वर्ड्स बायो एंड मैकेनिक्स बायो मीन्स लिविंग थिंग्स एंड मैकेनिक्स मीन्स रिलेटेड टू फिजिक्स सो बायो मैकेनिक्स मीन्स द स्टडी ऑफ फोर्स एंड इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन लिविंग थिंग्स वॉट विल हैपन इफ द फोर्स इज अप्लाइड ऑन अ लिविंग थिंग्स ऑन अ ह्यूमन बींग्स and movements types of movements today let discuss about law of motion and its application in sports law of motion is formulated by isaac newton in 1687 he explained and in investigate that every motion every movement is under the impact of this law of motions means this law of motions was formulated by isaac newtons in 1687 whatever the movement whatever the movement it is it come under the impact of this law of motions there are three law of motions that is first law of motions also known as law of inertia second law of motions also known as law of accelerations and third law of motions means law of actions and reactions first law of motions that is law of inertia this law state that an object at rest will remain at rest or an object in motion will remain in motion at constant velocity unless acted upon by a force means when a object it at rest means it remain at rest jab koi bhi object rest mein hoga then the object will remain in the rest position and if the object is in motion means agar object motion mein hai movement hai then it will remain in motion unless the um, it will in motion in the same speed unless the external force is act upon the object for example a football at a penalty point we remain at rest unless a player kick the balls when a football ball is kept in a penalty ball the ball does not the ball does not move unless a player kick the ball or a ball if the ball is moving it will continue move unless the external force is applied on a ball to stop it this is known as law of inertia means an object at rest will remain at rest or an object in motion will remain in motion unless an external force is applied on the object second law of motion also known as law of acceleration according to this law of motion the rate of change in velocity that is acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force applied and inversely proportion to the mass of body means the rate rate of change in velocity means change in motion of an object is directly proportional to the force if more force is applied there will be the more movement more velocity of an object and inversely proportion to the mass if if the weight of the object is heavy then more force is required the greater the force applied the faster is the velocity more force is applied more is the velocity more is the movement and more is the displacement and if the force apply is less if you apply the force less then the displacement is also less then the movement is also less moreover acceleration means velocity is also less means in second law of motions accelerations accelerations is directly proportional to force and inversely proportion to mass okay acceleration means movement motion is directly to force and inversely proportional to mass 
for example a volleyball player uh, a volleyball player push the ball slowly for a drop or you can say in a short put a player who exert more force if um, if there is a two object of same weight and um, and uh, the ob and um, if the players exert most force on the object then the object where the more force is applied there will be the more velocity means there will be the more movement of the object and if there is a uh, um, motion mass means if uh, if the object uh, if the uh, object mass weight weight of the object is different then um, more force is required for this uh, displacement For examples, look at here. If if equal force are applied, if the equal force are applied to an object of equal mass, okay. If unequal force are applied to object of equal mass, then the greater force, greater force will cause more accelerations. If unequal force uh, applied on equal mass. then um, then agar aap different force apply karte ho same uh, same object same weight same mass object mein then aap jis object mein zyada force use karenge then the acceleration will be more and if equal force are applied to an equal mass agar aap uh, equal force apply karte ho in unequal mass an object of unequal mass then the object with greater mass jiska mass zyada hoga uh, it will have less acceleration for example uh, equal force uh, 10 kg and 20 kg then and you are uh, applying equal force then the 20 kg more force is required for greater force in acceleration okay this law of acceleration means the rate of change in velocity acceleration of an object is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to the mass of the body more more force is required when the weight is more and third law of motions also known as law of actions and reaction this law of motion state that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction for example in swimming pool in swimming if the player pushes the waters backward in returns he pushes forward means at the type of swimming if the player pushes the water backwards mean his action action is backward then then he is Uh, he is pushed forward that is reactions push forward by the waters or uh, or at the time of walking when a person walk on the road he push the ground backwards uh, he push the ground uh, backward directions and the ground exerts and equals an opposite force on the person in the forward direction this is the third law of motion okay law of motions it was formulated by isaac newton in a 1687 first law of motions also known as law of inertia it means if the object is at rest it will remain at rest or an object in motion will remain in motion unless an external force is applied on an object second law of motion also known as law of acceleration this law state that the rate of change in velocity means the rate of change in acceleration means movement of an object is directly proportional to force agar aap more force apply karoge then there will be the more acceleration and inversely 
proportional to the mass of the body heavier the uh, heavier the weight more force is required for more acceleration and third law of uh, third law of motion is law of actions and reactions for every actions there is equal and opposite reactions if you in swimming pool if the player pushes the water backward then the waters in return push the players forward this is the third law of, this is the law of motion three law of motions and this friction and sports this is cut from your syllabus now we have complete our uh, complete our uh, chapters biomechanics and sports next is unit 9 psychology and sports psychology psychology means study of human behaviors and sports psychology it is a branch of psychology and that deal with the performance of a sports person uh, that deal with the that deal uh, that deal with the performance of the sports persons and behavior of a players during uh, the training and competitions which help to maintain which help to um, uh, improve the performance of a players and maintain the same during uh, even during the stress Uh, stress of the competition. The purpose of sports psychology is uh, to understand the behavior of a sports persons and modify uh, modifying uh, it according to the need, uh, according to the needs of the situations, which help to uh, which help to improve the performance, which help for better performance of the individuals. Next is personality. The word personality is derived from the Latin word persona, which means marks. So, a uh, personality it is the outer edge of the self or how one appears to the up um, to the others. The word personality convey the meanings of one physical appearance, his habit, his way of. dressing up his reputations his manners and other similar characteristic this is the meaning of personality okay personality it is derived from the personality is derived from the latin word persona persona means marks his uh, outer appearance how a person look so personality convey the meaning of one physical appearance his habit his way of dressing up his reputations his manners and other similar characteristic so in in personality it is a typical patterns of thinking how one thinks his feeling and his behaviors which make a person's unique every individual has unique personality no two individuals have same personality or personality it is a combinations of emotion attitude and behavior response patterns of the individuals the emotion of a persons his attitude and behavior how he behave in different situation etc this is known as personality or you can say that personality is a total uh, total sum of a uh, total sum of Uh, total sum of uh, what one is his psychological makeup one's typical patterns means to adjust in the environment or how one responds to the world around him and his behavior patterns how one behave different in a different situation to an ordinary people uh, to an ordinary persons personality means his physical appearance his habit his way of thinking his reputations his manners and other similar characteristic but personality is more than more than this it is much more different from this personality is a total sum of his being 
okay personality is the total sum of his being and include physical physical appearance uh, physical appearance his mental social emotional and intellectual aspect so one personality reflect the thinking imaginations uh, uh thinking imaginations attitude intents uh, his habit his interest and uh, other similar characteristic this is a personality next is various psychologists has formulate many theories regarding the personality every individuals different persons have different uh, uh, different meanings regarding the different theory regarding the personality some theories are based upon dimensions and some theories are based upon trait characteristic so some common uh, common theories regarding personality are seldens seldens classifications of personality junk personality um classifications based on traits and and uh, big five theory big five theory based upon dimensions let's discuss seldens classification of personality seldens classify the personality according to the body structures so seldens according to williams herbert seldens the personality are of three types based upon body structures that is endomorphic mesomorphic and ectomorphic okay herbert seldens according to herbert seldens he classified the personality based upon the structures of a person that is endomorphic means fatty people mesomorphic means healthy people and ectomorphic ectomorphic means thin and lean people seldon <coughs> seldon classification classifications of personality endomorphic they are also known as viscerotonic means fatty people an endomorphic person is generally stocky with a large round body short neck short arms and wide hips they have lots of fat on their body they are low in physical fitness uh, physical fitness so endomorphic endomorphic means fatty people they have uh, this person have large round body that is mainly pear shaped body they have short neck short arm and wide hip they have lot of fat in their body and they they are low in physical fitness they uh, they are not good in uh, good in physical activity they have less speed endurance but they have more powers this endomorphic persons have good strength so endomorphic persons are usually in weight lifting endomorphic endomorphic persons have the personality like comfortable living they are more friendly peaceful socially relaxed tolerant persons they are able to tolerate themselves they are fun loving good uh, humors even temperatures food lovers etc okay endomorphic persons they are not good in sports at least this endomorphic persons are very friendly uh, very fly, uh, friendly always happy um social uh, socially relaxed means easily uh, adjust with the others people they are able to tolerate persons able to control their emotions angers etc mesomorphic persons mesomorphic this persons have muscular body bit broad chest means this mesomorphic are healthy people mesomorphic persons have strong leg and arms with medium height they have medium height mesomorphic persons has good strength they have good strength speed flexibility and attractive personality this persons have attractive personality they are good they have good shape structures etc so the personality is good they are good for almost all activity they are good in almost all physical activities their personality 
कैरेक्टरिस्टिक से दैट दे आर एक्टिव्स दे एक्टिव एनर्जेटिक एसर्टिव विगरोज एंड कॉम्बेटिव पर्सनैलिटी दे हैव लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी इन देयर बॉडी एंड दे आर एडवेंचरस एंड कुरेजियस स्पोर्ट्स सो मैसोमोफिक पर्सन हैव लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी इन देयर बॉडी सो दिस पर्सन शुड डू हैव ए फिजिकल एक्टिविटी ectomorphic ectomorphic means thin and lean people this ectomorphic persons are slim and thin with narrow face means they ekdam dubla patla aadmi they have narrow face narrow shoulders chest and hip they have low fat on their body they does not have fat in their body ectomorphic have less strength they have less powers whereas they have good endurance this persons are mainly suitable for running activities they have good in endurance personality wise they are quiet sensitive fragile uh, resistance and non assertive means they want to live in their own worlds they are quiet they are not easily friendship they are not easily a uh, friend with other person they tend to be self uh, consciousness socially anxious antisocial and thoughtful they are afraid to branch out or separate they want to live in their own world these are the types of uh, personality according to uh, w s seldens endomorphic fatty people mesomorphic fit and healthy peoples and ectomorphic means lean and thin peoples next is junk classification of personality social dimensions personality according to carl junk classifications based on social dimension personality carl junk classified the personality according to social attitudes it has two types of personality introvert personality and extrovert personality introvert personality introvert personality are described as people uh, people uh, who share characteristics such as shyness social withdrawal tendency to talk less they have their own internal world of idea thoughts behavior interests and attitude introvert people are self centered unable to adjust easily in the social situations so introvert personality means the persons who want to live in their own internal world internal world of idea thought behaviors interests and attitude they are shyness they are very shy socially withdraw and tendency to talk less they are less friendly and they live in their own world attitude thought and they are unable to adjust in the society they are unable to adjust in the society so they are not easily suggestible they are future oriented they only think about the futures and they are very sensible and rigid in their idea extrovert personality this persons have tendency to be outgoing friendly talkative and social in natures their behaviors and actions are concerns to interact with others they prefers uh, contact um, generous supportive and courageous extrovert persons interact with external world they show interest in present reality than futures they express their feeling openly they take decisions quickly and act uh, upon quickly they are not affected easily by difficulties so extrovert personality means those persons uh, those persons who live in the present life um okay extrovert persons um means uh, they prefers uh this extrovert persons interact with the external external world they this uh, extrovert persons live in the present world 
rather than futures. Introvert persons only think about the futures, but these extrovert persons live in present, present world. They think about the presence. These extrovert persons are outgoing. They are friendly, talkative, and social in nature. Means easily adjust in the society. Easily adjust with the others peoples. They are too much talkative. They are talkative and these extroverts persons uh, easily uh, they are free uh, feeling openly they easily express their feeling to others peoples these persons take decisions quickly they take the decision quickly and also act upon their decisions quickly this extrovert personally personality are uh, not affected by the difficulties and okay, these are concerned to the interact with others easily interact easily friendly with the others people these are the types of personality according to Jung Carl Jung okay introvert extrovert introvert means live in the internal world only thinks about the futures they are very shy uh, side talk less sinus and extrovert means those who live in the present present world and uh, outgoing friendly talkative etc and they express their uh, view express their feelings openly to the others this big five theory Emotional dimension personality. According to Big Five theory, the personality depend upon five dimensions or trait characteristic, and also known as personality dimension. That is, ocean. O means openness. C means um, conscientiousness. E means extroversion. And A, A means agreeableness. N means uh, neurotisms. O sun. This is the big five theory. So, openness, openness, the persons who are openness, they are curious, curious, wide range of interest, independence. They are uh, respective, they are respective to new idea. Okay, openness means they are open, they are respective to a new idea. They are creative, interest. In variety, interest in variety uh, of expressions, etc. And openness persons, they are more frankly. And those who are not openness, they are practicals, conventionals, prefers routines. And they are, uh, they are practicals. They are narrow in interest. Uh, narrow in interest with what is familiar. And always Perform the same routine work, diet, habit. Consistiousness, consistiousness, those who are consistiousness, they are hard working. Depend able, organized, um, well organized, they are well organized, responsible. Okay, they are responsible, discipline, achievement oriented and always follow the plan. And those who are not consistiousness, they are careless. Impulsive, careless, discourteous, disorganized, lazy. Uh, do not follow the plan. Extroversion. Extroversions, those who who have more extroversion, those who are extroversions, they are outgoing, warm, sick, adventurous. Okay, they are outgoing, fun loving, fun of loving, assertive, talkative, and those who are not Ex um, extroversions they are quite reserves withdraw means they are sinus size serious next is agreeableness those who are agreeableness they are helpful more helpful they are more trusting trustful trusting in natures they are warm trusting they are helpful and easy going and those who are not Agreeableness, they are criticals. In cooperatives, they are not cooperate with the others. They are in cooperatives. As 
cold, argumentative, un unfavorable, etc. And next is neuroticians, those who have those who are anxious, worry, okay, anxious, worry, unhappy. They always live in unhappy, prone to negative thinkings, emotions. They are emotionally weak, insecure, and those who are less neuroticians, they are calm, even temp uh, tempers, secure. They are emotionally strong, stable. They are confident. These are the big five theory. Ocean, O C E A, and oceans.